yeah so we're talking about what now <laughs> don't want no short dick man <laughs> <laughs> honestly it's the foreplay for me yeah it's yeah, a foreplay yeah. for me and i think guys don't get that no they don't, I don't you think know they're what? investing I think in it they're not invested they're not doing research they're not watching videos they're not reading books and because I got big tits, they, they're not gonna read books. On but they need to do something, Kama Sutra or something. Making. And do you know when you've got big tits, I gotta say something. When you got big tits, yeah, oh, people yeah. don't know how to handle them. Like mine are south facing, right? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean they're south facing? What the hell are you talking about? So gravity has. You know, gravity setting basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, and so for me, but I don't. You know, I don't. Everything. Yeah, but you know, like mine are soft face, and I don't have a bra right now. But if, no, they, but yours they are, they are, they yours are different. Bad. I think yours are fuller though. Mine are really full in a bra, but on an average day, yeah. we've got quite a lot of upper <laughs> length, and then we've got a more pendulum moment <laughs> at the bottom. <laughs> we've got pendulitis. But I'm really glad that I don't have apartheid going on. Oh, yeah. Apartheid is mad. Apartheid is, is mad. mad. But regardless, a boy, a dude, a man needs to learn how to... Maneuver. Manage. Maneuver the breasts. Mm. And don't just focus on the nipple. It's not all about the nipple. It's the whole <laughs> breast. Whole breast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I like? I also like both, ni- both nipples in the man's mouth at one time. Or me have one nipple in my mouth. Well, you can't do that. You suck your own breast. Oh, I suck my own breast on a regular basis. Do you? Yeah, I'm Mom, a good titty sucker. I'm not here for that. I could be a good lesbian, I'm letting you know. But I'm just saying, mine can, due to the flexibility and the malleability of them, I can put one in my mouth and then he can have the other. Sharing is caring. So, you, you don't Are like you that? fucking being serious? You suck your own breast? What do you do in the bedroom then? Uh, no, I don't do you that. You just lay back and take it? No, 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 no. I'm so on, how are you I'm on, I'm on job. <laughs> no, I'm on job, but yeah, I'm I not... do something like this. Do you? Do you like it? I do like it. Really? Yeah, and I grab them up, do. <laughs> Squeeze them. But anyway, too much of me. Maybe a grab, but not a, no, not a full-on suck. That's a full on suck. No, no, no. Not on all that. Okay. But I've only just been introduced to masturbation. Okay, so one of the other things that I think we should talk about in another time... Mm. Is the fact that I've never had an orgasm. No, we need to talk about that now. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? What are you on about? So, as you know, I'm 30. I don't remember 30. Yeah, I think I am. Um, and I've never come. You're lying. There's no way. It's Do not you possible. think that I would lie about this? <laughs> That's not possible. Why isn't it possible? Do you know a lot of women don't come? Why? A lot of women fake it, number one. And I'm real to tell you that I've never had that euphoric feeling that I read about. Have you faked it? Oh, many a time. That's my problem. I've made them... Oh, you know what? I can fake it like a fucking G. Let me tell you. Let me get into character. No, hop, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to die. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <sighs> Are you being for real? No, no, I can fake it bad. I can, I've... Oh! And I can even shake. What? I can shake my body as if I were coming. And they've never been able to tell that you've not come. Never. I am a Globe Award winning actress on this. I've done 38 years of it. Sorry, it's my mum. Oh, it's all right. It's all right, mum. Yeah. So I'm now decided in this new phase of my relationships that I will no longer fake it. I don't fake it anymore. Because what I was doing, I was stroking ego. So I was making you feel. With your current partner. I don't fake it no more. With him, I don't. We've had this very transparent conversation. So you've had this conversation. Yeah. Yo, this is a situation. You've been to the doctors? Yeah. You've been to the doctors? I've been to the doctors. I've had a transvaginal scan about it. What does that mean? So they put a camera up your fanny yeah. just to see what's going on. Mm. I've done um, psychosexual therapy also. What's that? So it's a therapist that talks about sex and mm-hmm. your experiences. So one of my experiences in sex is how s- my sexual patterns have derived itself. Mm-hmm. And much of it has been in dance or music. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. I'm, so I'm gonna let you land on the runway before I continue. Go on. So people like Lady Saw, mm-hmm. who pre- has taught me how to get my meat stabbed up, um, for example, um, and spice. 
When I look at them, I see my role in the bedroom as quite a domineering character mm -hmm. that needs to jump on the cock and ride it until it broke, that type of thing. So a lot of my focus sexually has been on me performing in the bedroom. I am the performer, I am the character, I am the giver. Mm -hmm. I'm not really the receiver in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. I control this ship. Mm -hmm. I'll make you come. Mm -hmm. Whereas I have not sat back and said, make me come. Mm. You do me. I've always wanted to land an impression. So when you walk away, you think about me on your drive home. Mm -hmm. That's what I wanted. But that hasn't boded well for me because the focus has been on them. Can I tell you something? Yes. I'm absolutely flabbergasted <laughs> by what you're saying right now. You've never no. come. No. I thought I did the other day because I had this, like, I needed to pee. You had this feeling. Okay, go on. Right. But... I think I really did need to be. Because oh, <laughs> I didn't go toilet before. <laughs> and what I didn't want to do was just pee. pee. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Sorry. I got 100 days on my mattress just in case it doesn't work. So I can't be peeing all over the place. So, yeah, I didn't pee. And I, then I didn't come. Then so he's, he's uh, just okay. like, let it go, let it go, let it go. And I'm like, Ooh, no, we can't be doing that. I drink a lot of water. So let me, let me, let me just um, try and understand. So you've had a conversation with your current... Yep. So can I call him your partner? Yeah, let's do All that. Right, cool. So with your current partner mm. that you've never experienced an orgasm. Yeah. How does he feel about doesn't it? doesn't like it. Now he's So feels, does he feel like he's underperforming? No, he's emotionally intelligent and he knows that a lot of it is my psychological... Okay, so when I spoke to my therapist, she said I'm emotionally dis detached from sex. I do not, I'm not an active participant emotionally. Mm -hmm. I am a performer. I detach myself and I get on, like I get on on stage. Yeah. I go on, I do an act and I come out. I do not let myself go. I do not let my emotions run free. I do not free up my body, mind and soul. Mm -hmm. And in order for me to come, she believes that I need to be emotionally available in sex and just let go and let go i so can't why let go. are you not letting go what's stopping you because i care about the other person too much and their experience okay so now and, so and even fear and trust all right so even when you um even when you do you initiate sex yeah so even when you initiate you still don't have that that urge to come no because for me, I find if I initiate sex, it's because I want that, like, I am, yo, we're in the bed, and I'm like, yo, are you my comfort? <laughs> Do you get what I'm trying to say? No, I don't have that. I still, I have an urge to have sex, mm -hmm. but I like the intimacy. I like the touching, the kissing, or whatever. And I, it's not for an end game for me. It's, mm -hmm. it's like, that's not enough, but that's always what, what it's been, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It just feels nice at the moment, and then mm -hmm. that's it, and then I'm, I'm good to go. So it's not really for me, it's now for me to change my mind in terms of what I'm I'm deserving of. You're looking at me like I'm mad. Because I feel like, I don't know, I don't, I need, as your friend, I need to know how to help you. And I want to know how to be helped, if I'm honest. And, you know, if you know I, how to help I, me, put it in the comments below. Um, I'm going to be honest, yeah. I, I don't know if there's ever a time where I haven't. What? Come. So you come every time you have sex? What kind of human are you? 98.999% <gasps> of the time. Is that through oral or? Yo, orals are next thing. <laughs> orals are mazzoline. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, through orals are mad thing. Like, so what, do you, what makes that, you so that, sexually in tune? So wait, I don't know if I want to ask this question. Are you getting oral? Nah, nah. That's why you're not coming. No, but nah, I don't. Think Was so. you getting oral in your marriage? Nah, that's why you're not coming. I'm telling you. I'm do you think? You. Do you get oral? You've had oral, right? Yeah, years ago though. Brother, I know it in about ten years. Them, them niggas up their game. <laughs> really? Brother, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm telling you now. If you got oral now, you would come. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Guarantee. I'm telling you. Remember today. What's the <laughs> day? Today's the tenth of October. I'm telling you. This is really interesting because, because you know I don't what? think it's linked to Why that. I think it's linked to trust. Mm. I think I will get emotionally free mm. to have an orgasm once I fully trust that person because I will let go and not feel. But I'm, why are you not letting go? What is it you're not letting go? Because I don't trust you. So you don't trust your partner. Well, I do now. 
And that's why I think I'm coming closer. That's when the pee thing happened the other day. Because mm. I think I'm getting close to that point. But I'm still, I'm an overthinker. You know that. Yeah. So I'm always overthinking so how you feel it, about right, me anyway. So what is it that you're not trusting of sexually? That you're going to, it's not even sexually, it's emotionally, that you're going to be here. 